Hey guys, thanks so much for being here today. So I am going to be doing a reading on The Bachelor, The New Bachelor. I haven't even watched this season at all yet. Um, I'll probably watch it when I can just like stream every single episode and not have to wait. So I watched the last one like that and it was way better. Um, but yeah, so there's been like controversy between Matt James and Rachel Kirk and Connell. That's a funny last name, Kirk and Connell. <laughs> Kirk Connell, sorry. Um, so I'm going to do a read on both of them. I'm going to see if there's another contestant that they're thinking is the winner of The Bachelor. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So the energy I get from Matt, I'm definitely getting like, oh my gosh, a lot of starseed energy. I feel like a lot of people in this day and age that are getting famous are like, have some metaphysical power or there's just a backstory to them. So I'm getting like a, I'm getting more of a starseed energy from him. I'm getting like a yellowish aura, bluish aura around him as well. Um, this is a picture I'm using guys. So the our aura has many different colors depending on how we're feeling in the picture. It depends on a lot of different things. Um, there's layers to our aura. But I'm getting like, um, for him, he's kind of like, I don't want to say bubbly, but I don't think bubbly is the right word. What is it, the word when you're like, we work a lot, you, you get things done quickly, you're friendly. I guess bubbly is, is the word for that. But I am getting like... Um, an earth energy, he may be like a Capricorn Virgo, and um, yeah, like maybe Taurus, or he may have like a rising in Taurus or something, I'm not sure. You guys can comment below if you guys already know the answer to that, but I feel like he is definitely like looking for love. Um, I think he's really come on the show to find like his soulmate, his true love. Okay, guys, so my guides are saying that these two are actually pretty happy together. I'm getting more of an energy that these two are still kind of together, and it seems stable. Like, I'm getting, like, stability from them. So they may be lovers. They may be friends. It could be, like, a situation with Peter Weber where, um, what's her name, Kelly Flanagan just came out of the woodworks and... I really hope it's not that because that was terrible, especially for Hannah Ann. I love Hannah Ann. Um, you guys could check that video out. I already did it. But I'm getting more of a stable relationship from them. So I'm going to say that this is the winner. But then again, I, I'm going to have to look at all the contestants and um, verify that. I'm not like going to say that because, listen, honestly, I haven't seen any of the other contestants. This is the only one I saw, and that's because she's on Daily Mail like every day. Um... But yeah, I'm getting a stability from them. I'm kind of getting relationship vibes. So this could be The Bachelor. This, I mean, this could be the winner of The Bachelor. Um, I wouldn't... Don't Please don't mind my nails, guys. <laughs> COVID has been hard on me. And I have not gone to the salon. So um, yeah, I'm just getting more of like uh, relationship vibes from them. I feel like they've already moved in together. Or they have some type of living situation where they're at each other's houses a lot. Or either that or they're looking for a new apartment. Um, and they may be like staying with somebody's parents right now or something like that until they can get their own place. So a lot of stability from them. I, I don't get anything negative from her. I am kind of getting like... There's something about her having her needing to have dominance over over other women or like she might have been kind of like a mean girl at one point I don't know how old she is um this is like childish energy like I'm getting like a 19 year old girl energy like fr from the relationship she has with other women it's almost like she always needs to be on top and um like she doesn't like it when other women are succeeding more than her she likes to be the, the leader I guess you could say uh, do I think that these two, I, th listen, like, I think that 
this relationship could work, but they're both like very like I don't even want to say bland, but they're just like their personalities are just like weird. Like I think he, first of all, Earth signs. I'm not trying to come for you. I'm a fire sign, and like I'm very bubbly and. I've tried relationships with earth signs and I always get this energy from them that they're like a robot or there's some qualities about them that are robotic and I, I'm kind of just getting like robotic qualities about him and I kind of think he might be kind of boring. Um, mind you, have not seen any episodes of this season, like swear to, swear to God, I haven't seen anything of this at all. Um, but yeah, like I feel like he... Like, dominance comes in different forms, and in the way that they need dominance, for him it's stability, it's it's other things too, but I'm um, not saying that in a bad way, but I feel like she she's more, like, um, fiery as well. She could be an Aries, or she could have, like, an Aries sun, moon, or rising. Um, yeah, I just feel like this works, but she's going to walk all over him. So let me look at the other bachelorettes. Okay, let's get a good look. Watch me like upload this <laughs> and they already chose the person and this reading is irrelevant. <laughs> okay, let's distribute. Oh, disturbed, okay. All right, but it doesn't say like, okay, who are the remaining bachelors, bachelorettes? Okay, they're called contestants. Um, oh my gosh. All right, this isn't gonna drive me crazy. It doesn't just, like, say. <laughs> okay, guys. Alright, look. I, I can't... Sorry, guys. I, I can't see who the remaining bachelorettes are, the remaining contestants are, but... I am going to explicitly, um, without looking at any other contestants, say that, yes, she was the one who chose and um hey listen if i'm wrong i'm wrong but uh you know how this channel is i'm usually not really wrong so <laughs> yeah i that's just what i'm seeing um I'm like very confused because I'm like googling it but then it's like oof okay I don't know who this girl is but I would not be surprised if she has problem with that one these two or vice versa. They probably both have problems with each other. I don't know, but you, you guys comment. You tell me because they both like to be the leader. It's not even like showing who the... Okay, it's final three. Yes, so I'm calling it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But um, yeah, the, whoever this, the weird last name girl, hold on. Not weird last name, but like. Um, okay, this is weird because that girl's name isn't even. Oh, no, it is. Okay, Rachel Kirk and Connell. Um, yeah, I'm kind of going to say that's the winner and they are now looking for an apartment a uh, big emphasis on apartment and i see this relationship like 
it just doesn't seem like it's going to turn into like a marriage for some reason. Like it doesn't, like I don't see kids. I don't, maybe they don't want kids. Like I don't know, but I just don't see them like really becoming a family like that. I, I don't know. I feel like they're going to stay together for a few years and if that, but I, I just don't see a family like future for these two people. So anyway, please um, let me know if you know these two people personally and yeah, drop it to you in the comments. If you guys want your own reading, you guys can um, email me, DM me, or just book through the website and all my testimonials are on my Instagram. Okay guys, bye!